So uh, we're in Wisconsin, Milwaukee area, and uh, made a phone call to meet up with somebody, and we're going to meet up with some of our YouTube friends, and uh, it's an exciting time to uh, get an opportunity to meet the people that you've watched and, and you know what they've been going through and doing. And it's just a lot of fun to get a chance to meet the people that you've been involved with their life for so long. Uh, check it out, stick around and see who we're gonna meet up with. This should be a lot of fun. So we just stopped and look at this y'all. This is uh, incredible that these are blooming right now. Things are so far ahead up here as far as these late fall and autumn blooms compared to uh, Arkansas it's incredible do you know where we're at yet have I told you where we're at yet we're up near Milwaukee in Wisconsin there's an echinacea bloom look at this this is gorgeous isn't it incredible really really neat stuff go ahead all right the section of Wisconsin that we're in right now is uh we're in southern wisconsin and originally not a lot of people know this but almost all of wisconsin was wooded wetlands and so we're in whitnell park right now and in this park we have a lot of meadows and uh, uh wetlands and wooded uh, areas that are native to uh, this area the way it was before everybody started to clear for agricultural purposes so we're going to take a little look today and uh, I'll show Mark some of the features that we have here in our state. So y'all know who we're meeting up with now. Carl's Off The Grid. If you don't know Carl's Off The Grid channel, I'll put a link uh, in the description below. Uh, let's go check out some this beautiful Wisconsin native country. Warm, but, uh, this is warm. Well, this is cold now. Yeah. It's really, I think it's really nice. The weather's perfect up here. It's about 64 degrees and low, really low humidity. This is beautiful now. So it'll be down in the like 40s, 30s tonight while I'm trying to sleep. It'll be great. Became the perfect time. So we're at this little observation area and uh, we can overlook this pond. Carl said they've got an unusual algae bloom because of the temperature this year, but uh, this is still a, a clear pond or lake compared to some of the stuff that's going on in Arkansas. Let's see if we can get a close up of these Canadians. Some of the flowers are just absolutely incredible on these trails. I don't know what this is called. Wild edibles, you may know what this is. And if you do, I'd love to know what, what you think this is. That would be awesome. I'm just gonna. So it's got this nice catwalk with bench seating to overlook the lake and there's a lot of bird watching and stuff going on. We just met a couple that was um, recovering from some cancer and stuff and they're out taking some bird watching pictures and there's just a lot of wildlife and habitat. That, that looks like uh, currants to me. I don't know what that is, but it looks like a uh, edible berry. Huh. Y'all, I think Carl's trying to kill me. He handed me this little berry, and he says that they have incredible wild strawberries up here. And so, um, it's not very sweet. If that's a wild strawberry, their wild strawberries are terrible. <laughs> hey, uh, Homestead Aquarius, wild edibles. What is this? This is absolutely gorgeous. I'll see if I can focus in on just the bloom. Look at that. I don't know what that is. You can see the, the branching whoops, on the plant and how it grows. And uh, the blooms are what drew my attention. It's really odd to have a bright yellow orange bloom, non-tropical in my mind. But uh, if somebody knows what this is, I'd love to know. Look at this view, guys. This is, uh, you know, those of you that have taken nature photography before, it, it never does the scene justice when you try to put it on film. I'm gonna see if maybe the fish that are down here, I don't think we're gonna get the fish, but there are a half a dozen or so bluegill or panfish down in this uh, down in the water that you can see just loafing in the current. It's a really a beautiful place, y'all. Look at this one. 
What is that? There's such a great diversity of plants. So this is man-made, it's not natural, but it's, water features are amazing. Listen to the power of the water. You can smell the, the water here. You can hear it, it's moist, it's humid down in here. And there is, uh, there's, you may be able to see the fish here. You see the fish? Right, right there is some fish. Yeah, you can see them. You know, when uh, we were in high school, we used to have to memorize this poem by Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in the yellow wood and I took the one less traveled and that has made all the difference. This came to mind when I was walk walking through this area. I know that's not all the poem, it's sort of the punchline of the poem, but uh, it's a really great poem. If you haven't read that poem by Robert Frost, you should, it's a, it's a really great poem. This is gorgeous. Y'all, the clouds are moving in and uh, it's getting late, the sun's setting and I've still got a few miles to put on tonight. We're gonna get out of here and uh, guys, it's been great to share this experience with you. What's the name of this place? I don't even know the name of this Whitlow place. Park. Whitnell? Whitnell Park. Whitnell Park, and the town is? We're in Hales Corners, Wisconsin. Hales Corners, Wisconsin. Yeah, if you're ever in Hales Corners, Wisconsin, and you want to come to Whitner Park, it's a beautiful, just get away, it's peaceful. Uh, I didn't realize there was so much wilderness and natural in the area when we pulled up. I mean, I was just on the interstate headed north, and then there's this huge expanse of nature right here, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, if you get a chance to come out this way, come out and see it. Guys, uh, Carl and I are going to continue our visit. Know that I love you, and God bless you all. Well, good morning. I thought I'd put a little B-roll footage on the back of this and show you uh, Great Lakes. Let me show you the Great Lakes, and uh, I'll show you some other stuff related to this Upper Peninsula here on the back side of this meetup with Carl. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the uh, upper part of Lake Michigan. And uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful place. It's about 36 degrees here this morning. Uh, it's mid-September. It's already in the 30s up here. Beautiful, beautiful place. And uh, slept really well last night. These cool, cooler temperatures make for us nice sleeping. We're gonna stop in here and have a little breakfast. Looks like it's gonna be a good place, let's see. Stop in Drifters and have a little breakfast. Mmm. Highway 2 in um, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Uh, it is basically like Carl was telling us, you know, wetland. And, you know, it's, it's very beautiful. Uh, the trees are much different than the, uh, the in the south. Uh, it's always interesting to, uh, to see what other places look like. I won't keep you on this very long. It's, it's just small trees that have been you know replaced from the original cuttings and uh the diversity that i think believe i've seen a few aspirin and spruce and fir uh it's, it's really a neat place you know this area uh historically was uh french french canadian uh the french fur trappers worked this area and got a lot of beaver out of this uh there were beaver all over the place and those early French trappers, those early American explorers would have uh, used this area to make a living uh, trapping and harvesting beaver pelt. Pretty interesting stuff. Are we in uh, Northern California? 
this reminds me a lot of the uh, the coastline around Northern California, but this is Lake Michigan at the UP. The water is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, looks like the ocean. Huge, huge, huge body of water. I guess uh, this is probably the first time I've really been this close to uh, the Great Lakes and spent any significant time around it. It's absolutely beautiful scenery. If you get a chance to come to the UP, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, you ought to come check it out. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to go through uh, <laughs> the toll bridge here across the lake. This ought to be pretty cool. I may have to speed part of this video up or do some clip or clip work, but I'm gonna let the camera run. I don't have much of this, you guys will see. But well, it was open. What happened? Uh, you weren't fast enough. Oh, you shit. gotta go really fast if you want to catch it. How much do I owe? Do you take cards? Yes. Let's do it that way. Uh, it's a uh, swiper. Okay. We can do that too. Alright. I surely do. Girl, you got some hair. <laughs> How long you been growing that? Uh, 37 years. Oh, since you were two. Yeah, since I was two. <laughs> I know my grandbabies like to go ding, ding, ding. Good to right, have good. a great day. Bye.